All right, we're going to look at wages and salaries today. Now, wages and income are determined by the number of hours an employee works for a fixed hourly rate. So let's just say you're working at Macca's, you're earning $10 an hour. Uh, your income is determined by the number of hours you work at that rate. Okay, so that is an example of a wage earner. Now, wages are usually paid weekly, all right? And wage earners have the capacity to earn more income by working extra hours over time. Um, now, wage earners include casual employees like shop assistants, tradespeople, and factory workers. Okay, so if your wage is dependent on the number of hours you work, that is a wage earner. Now, a salary earner, now well, this is an income determined as a fixed annual amount. So that means the amount that you earn per year is fixed, right? And that fixed annual amount is paid to the employee in weekly, fortnightly, or monthly amounts. Salary earners do not have the capacity to earn extra income through overtime, okay? So, for example, teachers have a fixed annual amount they're paid. doesn't matter how many hours they work, they still get the same amount of money. Um, however, there are benefits to having a uh, annual salary. You might get things like a company car. Your business might give you bonus payments. Uh, they might give you an expense account. Uh, obviously, you get holidays. Holidays are a part of a salary earner's uh, package. Also, sick leave. Um, for wage earners, though, wage earners don't usually get holidays and don't get sick leave. So if you don't, if you take a sick day as a wage earner, you don't get paid. But as a salary earner, if you take a sick day because you're sick, then you'll get paid for that. So architects, software designers, teachers, nurses, and police, they're all examples of salary earners. Just some basic facts here. Um, one year is 12 months, one fortnight is two weeks. Okay, for now for wage earners, we use one year is 52 weeks, uh, or we use 365 days, uh, or 26 fortnights, okay? Uh, salary calculations, we use one year is 52.18 weeks, or 365.25 days, or 26.09 fortnights. Now, how come those numbers are different? Well, look, 52 weeks is an approximation. Um, we our calendar is based on the 365 days in a year that's the basics now we know that there's seven days in a week so if i go 52 times seven i get 364 days so in reality uh there's not exactly 52 weeks in a year because 52 times 7 is 364, not 365. So in reality, there is uh, 52 weeks and one day. You can see the one day discrepancy here. Okay. Now, how do we get the 26 fortnights? Well, if there's two weeks in a fortnight, if you halve 52, you get 26. Okay. And again, that's an approximation because we know there's not exactly 52 weeks in a year. There's 52 weeks and one day. Okay. Now, what about the salary calculations? Well, that gets a little bit more precise because even though we know there's 365 days in a year, scientifically, it takes the Earth 365.25 days to orbit the, the one complete orbit of the sun. Okay, so this is actually the exact amount, two decimal places for a year. Now, because of that, um, if I want to, want to work out how many weeks based on this number of days, right? If I divide by seven, because there's seven days in a week, it'll approximately get 52.18 weeks, right? Now, if I halve that, if I divide that by two, right, uh, that is equal to 26.09 fortnights. Okay, so that's where those numbers come from. Okay. Now be aware of that because in the textbook they will choose uh, between these numbers. You'll have to choose the right number to get your calculation right. Now let's have a look at our first question here. Now it says, 
Leanne earns a salary of $42,400 per year. Now, per year, uh, the abbreviation for that is P.A. P.A means per annum. So I'm just going to put a little arrow to that. Okay, P, P A means per annum. And per annum, if you think about annual, annual means year. Per annum means per year. Okay, so P A is an abbreviation for per annum, which means per year. Now, how much does she earn each week? Now, let's have a look at this. She's a salary earner. Now, because she's a salary earner, I'm going to have to use um, 52.18 weeks for this calculation. Okay, so I'm going to go $42,400 divided by 52.18. Okay, now that will give me the amount that she earns for one week. So let's do that $42,400 divided by 52.18 equals, right, so it's $812.57. $812.57, and we go per week, all right? And what about fortnight? Now for fortnights, for a salary earner, 26.09 fortnights, so I'm gonna take the annual amount, $42,400, I'm gonna divide that, so dollars, divide it by 26.09. Okay, so let's do that. 42,400 divided by 26.09. And you'll get 16.25. Uh, 1625.14. Now, since a fortnight is two weeks, we could have taken this amount, right? Or we could take the weekly amount. And times that by two. Okay, so $812.57 times two with 1625.14. So sometimes with these questions, there are two ways to do the answer. Okay, copy that down. Now let's, let's work out the monthly uh, salary. Now, the temptation that people will have is to take the weekly amount, 804.57, and times by four, but you can't do that because there are not four weeks in a month, right? If you worked out um, well, four weeks times seven because there's seven days in a week, you get 28 days. Now, we know that every month does not have 28 days, okay? Most have 30 or 31, so you can't use that, right? That is wrong. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the annual amount, $42,400, and you're going to divide it by 12, right, to get an average there per month. So let's work that out. 42,400 divided by 12. And that is 3,533 dollars and 33 cents. Okay. So to, ca to calculate the monthly, this is something you're going to have to remember. Because monthly, right, wage or monthly earnings. is equal to um, yearly earnings divided by 12. Okay, yearly earnings divided by 12. Okay, so you've got to remember that. Monthly is always divided by 12, never weekly times 4. Okay, copy that down. Let's have a look at example 2. Okay, so we've got example 2 here. Right, Tony's first job pays $7.27 per hour. If he works 38.5 hours each week, calculate his weekly income. Well, every hour he earns $7.27, and this is the number of hours he works. So his weekly income will 
will pay is hourly rate of pay, $7.27, multiplied by how many hours he works in that week, which is 38.5. Okay, so work that out. $7.27 times 38.5. That's going to give you 279. Now to two decimal places, it's going to be 90, right? It'll be 0 0.895 on your calculator, but to two decimal places, you're going to get that, all right? So 279.90. All right, now copy that down. Let's try example three. All right, you can pause the video and have a go at this one. Sandra earns uh, 54,706 per annum working 38 hours per week, sadly works 37 hours uh, to earn 982 per week, who has a highly rate of, hourly rate of pay. Well, let's start off with um, Sandra. Let's do Sandra's calculations. Now, this is 38 hours per week, and this is the annual amount for Sandra. So the first thing I'm gonna do is calculate Sandra's weekly amount. All right, so I'm going to take the $54,706, right? And I'm going to divide by, now generally, if you're given a yearly amount, then that is a salary earner. So I'm going to divide by 52.18. So let's work that out. So 50. 4,706 divided by 52.18. So $1,048.41. Okay. Now, that's per week. So I'm just going to put down per week. Now, we want to know her hourly, who has a higher hourly rate of pay. So I need to work out the number of uh, dollars she earns per hour from the 38 hours per week. So I'm going to take the weekly amount, which is $1,048.41. I'm going to divide that by um, 38, because it's 38 hours, right? 38. Now, so let's do that, divided by 38. And you're going to get $27.59 per hour. To two, to two decimal places, that's per hour. Okay. Then for Sally, for Sally, uh, we're going to, well, we're given her weekly amount already. So she... We're just going to take Sally's weekly amount, which is $982 per week. And she works 37 hours for that much money. So we're going to divide by 37. All right. And let's do that. 982 divided by 37. That's going to give you $26.54. All per hour. Okay. So the answer is... Sandra has a higher hourly rate of pay. Put down earns more per hour. Okay. All right, make sure that's copied down and then let's have a look at example four. All right, so Dale earns 4,900 per month. Calculate Dale's annual salary. All right, well, we know there's 12 months in a year, so I'm going to take the $4,900. I'm just going to times that by 12. Okay, so on your calculator, go 12 times 4,900. That's $58,800. And we could write down P dot A for per animal per year. Now, how much would Dale earn per week? Well, let's have a look. This is a salary question, so I'm going to divide by uh, 
52.18. So I'm going to take the 58,800. I'm going to divide by 52.18. Okay. That's going to give you 1126.87. Okay, there we go. So that's how much per week. Okay, make sure this copy down. Um, now, just a couple of uh, points here. Right, for monthly income, we already talked about this, but this is uh, to emphasize it. The only correct way to calculate the monthly income is to divide the yearly income by 12, okay? Because there are 12 months in a year. Never multiply the weekly income by four because there are not four weeks in one month, all right? Now, for fortnightly income, uh, which is two weeks income, there are two ways you can do this. You can multiply the weekly income by two or divide the yearly income by 26.09 for a salary or 26 for a wage. Okay, so you've got to remember both those things. Uh, now for weekly income, well, to calculate weekly income, you divide the yearly income by 52.18 for a salary and for a wage earner, you'll divide it by 52. Um, and divide the fortnightly income by two, uh, whether you're a wage or salary earner, okay, to get the weekly income. Never divide the monthly income by four because we know there's not four weeks in a month. Okay. All right, they're the basics.